Hello America, me again. I'm here to sort of talk to you about, well not sort of, but exactly talk to you about the University of Florida tasering. Uh, Mr. Kerry, uh, at one point in your lifetime you were opposed to war. You were opposed to Vietnam. Where did you go? Why didn't you intervene in all of this? Why didn't you turn around and look at these people and say he has the right to ask this question? But no, the mic was shut off at the keyword skull and bones, as usual. America, this is what I'm referring to. There's a, there's a larger group out there that are attempting to take over this nation, and or a smaller group, and they're using a larger mass of force. We as Americans need to stand up and fight this power. I saw a room full of people who all looked to the floor, and I'm willing to bet at least half of you were ashamed of yourselves that you didn't do or say something sooner. America, that was your forum. For the people, it was our forum. People are being tasered more often. September 15th was a powerful, powerful day for me. Not only was it the day of the March on Washington, but it was a day that I took my son to see the sights. Lincoln Memorial, uh, Jefferson Memorial, uh, you name it, the list just went on and on of the places that we went. I saw the Korean War Memorial. My father fought in the Korean War. Uh, he, was a, he was a Marine. Uh, my brother's also a Marine. I come from a long line of, of military family. Uh, my family instilled in me that the Constitution is the most important. When those who work against you uh, try to take that away, it's our duty, it's our job, and it's our obligation to keep it in its restored factual data, not to be changed or shifted or rewritten for the purpose of anyone's gain or goal. So Mr. Kerry, you sir are a traitor to your own basic beliefs, the very basic beliefs that got you into office. And to that young man, I say free him. Free him and start arresting these officers and bringing them up on charges. University police, police, uh, I don't care who you are, when you work against the Constitution, that thing you swear to uphold and defend, you are a traitor to your nation at that very moment. You have betrayed the people, because this is a government of, for, and by the people. And when you do this, you betray everyone. 